I haven't done a renovation um, vlog video thing in a while, so I figured I would give you guys a little bit of an update of uh, what I've been doing on the chapel. So the rezoning was kind of holding me up for a long time. I wasn't able to, to do much on the property uh, because of paperwork um, and I had to get a lot of permits and all that. It's so just waiting around, so I was doing a lot of um, work outside, like built the deck. I did a lot of landscaping, took down some trees, planted other trees. But since then, I, the biggest things that I've that got done were uh, some plumbing, some electrical, and spray foam insulation. Uh, all that got done before the winter. Um, so the place is all sealed up. I do have running water. I have one functioning sink in the bathroom, main floor bathroom, which is amazing. It's completely changed my, uh, my quality of life. <laughs> I, I don't have many lights yet in the back, but I do have some plugs. I've moved from the front chapel part into the back, which is exciting. So I'm no longer sleeping like right beside my front door. Um, I'm actually in a bedroom in the back, but I'll show you guys around. It's, uh, it, it's lower your expectations, put it that way. <laughs> the, the front part of the building is the, uh, the old chapel built in 1904. And that's where I'm basically gonna have like family room with a fireplace TV, gonna have the dining room table, the funny thing about the kitchen is that it might look pretty good, it might look like I have a legit kitchen, but uh, it's all for show. None of it is hooked up because I don't have any water and I only have uh, two plugs in my kitchen. Well, in the whole front chapel actually, I only have two plugs, so a lot of extension cords. I've just kind of placed it there to, to look good. I've got the essentials though. I have a microwave, toaster oven, and a coffee machine. That's all you really need, right? Living on a budget. Living on, I was gonna say living on prayer. <laughs> well, that too. <laughs> I think I would say my favorite part of the renovation so far has, uh, has been getting water. I liked the part where we put up the drywall. Yeah. Because that's when you see the biggest change mm -hmm. and you actually see the room start to come together. The creative decision making because it's such like a blank uh, slate. Least fun thing of this renovation besides the rezoning the, the room underneath the staircase. <laughs> it sucked. It was so gross. Doing those roof rafters mm. for the master bedroom was a bit of a pain. Yeah. Sanding the, uh, the, the mud off the walls. Like mud, after mudding and taping, you gotta sand it down. It's really, it's a dirty job. It gets everywhere. I've learned a little bit about plumbing. I've learned a little bit about electrical. Um, I'm not really a fan of either, but I know how to supervise the professionals <laughs> and tell them what I want done. This was a weird, weird uh, renovation because the chapel was basically just one big room. So unlike a lot of um, other renovations of homes, instead of like tearing down walls to make the room bigger, um, I put up a bunch of walls to make bedrooms. <laughs> so I've uh, done a lot of framing work, putting up drywall, oh, tile. Done a lot of tile work, grouting, had to fix some vinyl siding on the outside of the house. Foundation work on the outside of the house. This place actually flooded last winter. I'll show you guys a picture. Um, but this winter, well, fingers crossed. My favorite room in the house is definitely the master bedroom. No, my favorite room is a smaller bedroom downstairs. I'm, I'm not sure why. I just find it really interesting. Cozy. The master bedroom, I'm super jealous of the master bedroom. Yeah. Because it's huge. Yeah. Bedrooms in the back, they're obviously not totally done yet, but that's kind of... Uh, this is where I've set up shop. This bathroom is pretty sweet too. I think the first room that's going to be finished in this in the chapel is going to be the bathroom. Um, I already got the tiles on the floors done. The vanity I built with my dad is actually an old dresser that my mom used to have on the farm growing up. So I revamped that, built it a little bit bigger, built it up, put some tile on top, put the sink in. I don't have it yet, but eventually <laughs> I'll have a shower. I just gotta, just gotta buckle down and do it. Gotta do some tiles. Redid all, oh, I have two furnaces. <laughs> I bet you guys didn't know that. Which is actually, I thought, uh, well, it seems weird to have two furnaces. It's not a big house at all, I have two furnaces. One furnace is in the front part of the house, and then I have another furnace for the back of the house, which holds the three bedrooms. But it, it works out really well, actually, because then I can set, I have two different thermostats, um, so, for sleeping, I have one temperature, and then in the living quarters, uh, I have another temperature. So it works really well. Very unique. This place is uh, full of character. But yeah, so there you go. That's a little look on the chapel. It's it's a slow process, but we're getting there. I want to say I moved into the chapel full time after Worlds, so April-ish. I moved in. Um, 
So yeah, living in a renovation site is interesting. It's it's good because you can putter around the house and get a lot done, like especially in the evenings and stuff. Um, but it's tough because it's a, it's a mess all the time. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video, this little tour of my house, the Good Chapel. Um, I'll try to put together another video if I'm doing something cool, another project. Um, but uh, other than that, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.